I really like it. <laughs> wow, I don't look hot mess. <laughs> I did something really clever and really stupid both at the same time. <laughs> 17 degrees. Not quite the glamorous podcast studios that some people have. Good morning guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. It's freezing. And I don't know if you can hear that, but the gardeners are back. So I had plans to record podcasts today thinking that they were coming on Tuesday but they've come today instead, so that's really, really fun. But I think because I'm so cold, I'm gonna just snuggle up under my heated blanket and try and get some editing bits done, try and film some TikTok bits, etc. <sighs> I'm just really cold. I've never been so cold. We've got the heating on for the first time in a really long time. Like we do not use our heating. We try and avoid it at all costs, but I'm freezing. And I've got this big snuggly jumper on that I got from the vintage place on the weekend, but I'm absolutely freezing. I'm so, so, so cold. I actually don't know what to do with myself because I'm so cold like my legs are like icicles I might put sweatpants on just to keep me a bit warmer actually, but It's so cold today. Um, I have nothing else to report right now than just moaning that I'm cold <laughs> Tell me how I'm supposed to be recording two podcast episodes today with that How am I supposed to do it because I literally I don't know what to do. I it's so loud. I really hope they stop by the time I start in an hour. Remember I said last week about trying really hard to make meal prep stuff so that we've got food to eat all the time? Well, we did it. We've started doing it. We sat down, we wrote a meal plan on Sunday. No, was it Sunday we went? Was it yesterday? No, it wasn't yesterday. Maybe it was Saturday we went. I can't really remember. But we popped to the shops and we got loads of little bits. We found meals together that we really wanted to make online. And I'll be honest, it's only been a couple of days. But it's so handy knowing that we've got like a set few meals. And knowing that we like have to make them basically. So for example, yesterday we were like, what do we make? And then we had like a chicken pasta. We had... Um, James specifically requested, he wanted like mozzarella and pesto like stuffed chicken breasts and then like crisp them up, kind of like a chicken Kiev. So we're going to make those, obviously vegan mozzarella for mine, and um, we're going to try and see what they're like, maybe do it with some like potatoes or something, I'm not really sure. We've got chicken strips that we're going to make, like there's various different bits and pieces, but I think we picked three or four meals in total, and we're just going to cook the same thing, which is very handy and it's quite nice because we know that we have all the ingredients we bought a couple of bits that we needed so like everything is in the cupboard so we're not just sat staring at the cupboards like mm, what do we want to make like we know what we're going to make and that's quite nice so i'm having my leftovers right now we had chicken pasta last night we made the marry me chicken which is from the good bite website i'll leave it linked down below but it's really really good james also loved it we had it yesterday and honestly i just i could have eaten so much more of it it was so delicious and then today for lunch i just had a stir fry like i just threw together a little tempeh stir fry also delicious i had a handful of walnut of almonds as well because i have a packet in the cupboard and just before i went for a run i was like mm, i could use a bit more energy so i just grabbed a quick handful of those but I think after dinner, I might try and make a little like apple pie bowl. So I saw someone do it on, I want to say it was TikTok, and they basically cut up an apple, popped it in the oven with like cinnamon and stuff on top, and then ate it in a bowl with some yogurt. I don't have any yogurt, but I do have some oats in the cupboard. So I'm thinking I might just like put some oats in it and then let them crisp up a little bit as well. And then it's kind of like a mini apple pie. And then I've got a tiny bit of custard. So. Maybe I'll do that, but if you are dairy free, this custard is the best thing you'll ever taste in your life. I literally will sit and like pour it in my mouth. <laughs> so good. I absolutely love it. So I think I might do that as like a little treat for myself. And then it's not really unhealthy because it's just like apples and cinnamon and a bit of oats and a tiny bit of custard. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'm undecided on whether I'm definitely gonna do it yet. But I want to because I just fancy something a little bit sweet, but 
oh god i'm so excited for this it was so delicious this is what it looks like actually i can't really remember what was in it apart from um they used single cream and we put milk instead because obviously i don't have dairy and i forgot to get single cream but it was like uh spiced chicken with, i can't remember what spice it is and then you basically put the chicken like cook it a little bit on each side and then make the sauce with like shallots and tomato puree and stuff and then you basically put the chicken back in let it soak in it and then put it. it was a whole thing but it was really delicious would actually make a really good air fryer recipe to be honest that would be a banging air fryer recipe but i'm gonna sit and eat this and then maybe catch up with you again but i am currently reading the a court of mist and fury and i'm obsessed is it mist and fury or mist and fire mist and fury isn't it i can't remember i'm about 200 pages in so I'm very excited. I don't want to say what happens because if you then end up reading the books, that spoils it. But book number one, I took a while to get into. Book number two, I got into really quickly. But I think when you've read the first book, because you already kind of understand like the different parts of things and the different people and the different creatures and all that kind of stuff, it makes it a little bit easier to get into it. So I'm flying through that. Can't wait to sit on the sofa and read. But I actually probably should stop working now, it's half seven, but I think I'm just going to finish the snippets for this week's podcast episode and then get myself on that sofa, snuggle up under the heated blanket with a cup of tea and just... <laughs> I'm trying to get into the habit of taking my makeup off. Oh, I don't know where my headband is. As I was saying, I'm trying to get into the habit of taking my makeup off a little bit earlier in the evenings because, because I don't like sitting in my makeup all night. And I also think that ugh, by the time I get to bedtime, I can't be bothered to take it off. So it just makes sense to do it. Apparently my watch is taking out half my jumper. As I was saying, I'm trying to get into the habit of taking my makeup off a bit earlier in the night because I always get to the point where I'm about to go to bed and I just cannot be bothered to take it off and I just I don't want to be like that anymore I want to take it off earlier sit with my skincare on like let it really soak into my skin a little bit more so that's what we're gonna do also while we're here I think it's just run out actually yeah I've literally just used up the last little bit I've been using the um Lacura Aldi this <laughs> this is like the dupe of the hot cloth cleanser Lizelle cleanse and polish this is the um vitamin c one it smells so good it smells really fruity and like citrusy but i've literally just run out of it and i've had that for so long and the last time i went in they did still have it they have it on like you know where they have the middle bit but then they have the like beauty bit it was on the beauty bit and it was quite fully stocked but the not vitamin c version but highly recommend because it's really really nice on the skin so if you're looking for a good cleanser i really like it <laughs> wow i don't look hot mess <laughs> But I thought I'd talk you through my skincare routine in the evenings because, do you know what? Why not? Although, I did put on my Clinique mascara earlier and the Clinique mascara is so hard to get off. I find that it just really sticks to my face. So, sometimes I use my number seven, which is like my holy grail one. I really like the number seven ones. And I do also have the Clinique one, but the Clinique one I just think is a bit harder to get off. So, I don't love it as much, but it's still a very good very good mascara when it's on getting it off however is a different kettle of fish we're also not going to judge <laughs> what i'm taking my makeup off with this needs to go in the wash but i thought i'd give it one last use and then chuck it in the wash in a minute because i've got the white wash that needs to go in so we're not going to judge her because she definitely needs to go in <laughs> i change them roughly every like four to seven days depending on like memory to be honest but this one she's she's in need of going away so she can go in the wash in a minute okay let me grab my skincare from the bedroom and i'll show you okay we've got the selection here i am waiting on some castor oil turning up because i went to order some more brow growth serum -y stuff and lash growth serum so i used to use it all the time and it made my brows and lashes look amazing um so i went to order some more and i realized that castor oil is actually really good for brow and lash growth so i'm waiting and it should be here tomorrow i hope i ordered it on amazon yesterday so we're hopeful that it'll be here tomorrow yes i have dodgy tan here we're going to ignore that but i'm starting with advanced night repair estee lauder we know i love it this one is still going and then i'm going to go to i don't know if you remember but a couple of vlogs ago i showed you the other bottle of this that's white with like the celestial print 
Still using this one up and then we're going to that. Then we're going in with some retinol serum. This is the Inky List one. I've been using it for a while and I've been using it like every other day because you're not supposed to use retinol every day at first and I was using it every day at first without thinking and it made my skin around my eyes quite sensitive so I've kind of pulled back and just stopped using it as often so today we're doing full skincare but normally it's not every single day so love that recommend that then I've got the ordinary salicylic acid 2% solution which is one of these ones these are both quite cheap products actually I think they're only like 10 pounds each or something but this one's great for apparently clearing spots and stuff and if you remember, I had really bad skin when it got to the beginning of this year. And I think it might have been a mix of like eating sweets and stuff over Christmas. And also just like being on antibiotics, being run down, all that kind of good stuff. So I've got this one. Again, don't use this one every single day. I normally alternate them, but today we're going, we're going for both. So we're just gonna we're just gonna love and leave. Um then we're going in with this. This is the number seven. Future Renew Damage Reversal Night Cream. Now, my friend Jay recommended this. She had the whole collection and said it was the best thing ever. So I went on recommendation from her. However, my mum, when she was here a couple of months ago, I think it was like December, she had heard rave reviews about it as well. Um, so she really wanted to try it out. So she bought it and I bought it. And we've both been really liking it. It just, it's really nice. So I bought the serum and I've got the day and the night creams. And I think my mum bought the SPF, I think. I've been using the serum in the mornings with the day one and then this one in the night with the advanced repair. And then I've got advanced repair eye cream. Like I said, waiting on the Amazon castor oil for my lashes and my brows, which I cannot wait for. Cause I used to have such thick, thick, thick brows and they've got considerably more sparse, especially towards the ends. The camera died, but as I was saying, that's my skincare routine. <laughs> I don't actually know what I finished on, but um, that's my skincare routine. I've just popped in one apple chopped up with a bit of maple syrup and a bit of cinnamon and like just a scoop of rolled oats into the oven. So I'm hoping it becomes like a gooey, crispy little situation. I don't really know whether it's gonna turn out good. So we'll see in a minute when it comes out, but I think because it's about half eight, I'm gonna curl up on the sofa and just read my book for a little bit and That'll be really lovely. I'm gonna make a cup of tea as well, I think. I'm having a bit of a tea resurrection. We have a running joke, me and James, because every time my mum comes over, she has about 20 cups of tea in like one sitting. So it's literally in one day, she'll, she goes through our tea bags, let me tell you. So um, James now says I'm the same because I have so much tea, but it's just so nice and warm. And like when I'm cold, I just want a warm drink and I can't just keep drinking coffee. So tea will do. We have decaf tea as well, we don't have like caffeinated tea, so even better. I did something really clever and really stupid both at the same time. <laughs> I um, realized that I never drink my coffee when I'm at home. Like I, I'm really bad at remembering to drink it and then it goes cold and then I make another one. So I thought I'd put it in one of these, like little thermal cups. I do have a straw in it, there's a reason for that. Um, I straight away went to sip it, forgetting that it's in a metal flask, like this is metal on the inside. I burnt my tongue so badly, I literally, it hurts. Like the tip of my tongue hurts. So I popped a straw in, like just a little glass straw. I'll leave these linked actually. I use these glass straws all the time and same with this. But yeah, I burnt my tongue. So I'm really annoyed, but this has been hot now for I think like three hours, which is fab going. But this cup's quite cool. It's like a um, coffee hole at the front. And then this bit obviously closes. And then it's, ugh, I don't know how to show you in the best way. And then it's actually got a little like sippy bit as well. It's not like me. There we go. It's got like a little sippy bit so you can drink it like a, obviously with that bit closed, but you can drink it. Um, not ideal for coffee, but ideal if you have like water or something in it. So yeah, very cute. And it did have a little carabinery thing so you could carry it around, but it's a good little size if you're out and about and it's very much like locked tight, you know? So nothing's gonna spill anywhere, I hope. I actually haven't tried it, but I hope nothing would spill anywhere. But it's fab um and my coffee's still hot but i'm filming youtube videos today and i was meant to have plans tomorrow with tash but she has now got to go to work she's meant to be working from home my friend rhiannon was also meant to be coming over but she has to go somewhere else which is totally fine um so i think i'm gonna have quite a few working from home days this week however the girls are coming over tonight to do friendship braces for Iris tour which i've heard is quite the task so i'm equal parts excited and equal parts 
like in fear of how annoyed they're gonna how annoying they're gonna be to make um so i think we might have to like watch a little youtube thing to like get it right so that we're not faffing but um i'm gonna set it all up and put like we're gonna sit around the table but i'm gonna set like little bowls up with all the different colors and stuff and like put a little candle and all that kind of stuff so it's really cute but this is what we bought because I know so many of you are also going to Era's tour, so you'll probably want to know. But this kit was, I think, £21, um, and it's got different coloured... Let me try and get it out and show you. It's got different coloured beads in one pot. So you've got all... Oh, my God, if I dropped this, I would be livid, like, if this popped open. But you've got all different coloured beads in here, so we've got, like, pretty much every colour that we would want for the Era's tour. However, I do think we'll probably end up buying more with like a little bit more color variation but very very cute there's a lot of like good lover colors in there we've got good reputation fearless etc it's also a really nice dark blue as well which is gorgeous and then the reason we got this specific kit so you get three little things that are 0.8 of the clear wire stuff some little scissors there is some little charms but i don't know if we'll use them they're just like random little charm things but this specific pack came with this and it's like all the letters and stuff but we thought this would be really fab because there's so many letters in here. Are they even in order? A, B, C, D, E. Oh my God, F, G, H, I. Oh my God, they're not in order. Where's K? Oh my God, is there not K? Okay, J and K are in, right, I think we're fine. I think they have included the whole outfit, but J and K seem to be shoved together. But yeah, it came with all of the letters in this. So that's why we went for it, because some of them only had like one little compartment of letters. And we just thought that would be highly annoying when we're trying to make like obviously eras tour ones. So I'll leave this linked, but there was a million and one options on Amazon. Some of them were like flatter beads, um, but we went for like the good chunky kind. My friends are coming over and we're going to make some of our Eras Tour bracelets. So I thought, why not set the table up really cute, put some candles on and we can make it into like a really cute situation. It's basically my two friends that I'm going to Eras Tour with and we thought we'd get a bit of a head start on bracelets. And also, to be honest, I just thought, let's get... Oh, I just did that right in my face. I thought, let's just get a bit ahead in terms of like buying a kit. Because I predict they're probably going to sell out the same way that like feather boas and stuff did for Harry. So we got ahead of the curve. And if you are near London and you're a good vibes girly, I might be doing something that you'll like very, very soon to do with Taylor Swift and Era's tour. Okay, the way I've seen people do this is like getting a plate and then doing like a plate with a little one of these. And then basically just, I don't really know how to explain it in the easiest way, but they've basically been like putting things into a bowl, like a little dish. So I've got three little dishes. And then you put your beads that you're using for that specific bracelet into the dish and then you use the plate and like sellotape the, I don't know how to explain it, but I've seen it being done. So this is our little setup for friendship bracelet making. And I'm praying that it's not traumatic because I've seen that apparently it's quite traumatic. I don't even know what day of the week it is. Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday today. And it's finally light before 7am, which is so lovely. And I'm so grateful. There's nothing I miss more than waking up early to come to the gym and like driving in light. I love doing it in the dark as well because it makes me feel like I've accomplished a lot before the rest of the world wakes up. But I really do like when it's light outside as well because it just makes it more like easy to wake up i think but we're here we're gonna do it we're gonna do the thing not very sleepy but i did have a monster a kind of monster last night potential rookie error but 
I had it at like 7 p.m. So I wasn't that able to switch off quickly. I read a little bit more of A Court of Mist and Fury. I think I'm about 400 pages in, but I've heard chapter 54 and chapter 55 are where it gets a little bit juicy. So I'm patiently making my way there. I think I'm on chapter like 35 or something. I can't remember. So I'm on the way. I'm on the way. And I think I know what's going to happen a little bit like I'm predicting bits and I predicted bits from the beginning of the book so I think I think I know where we're going I think but very excited to continue reading I didn't really get much reading of it done yesterday I think probably only like three pages but that's fine I did actually grab two Amazon parcels on my way to the car let me show you I can't actually remember what they are oh yeah so I bought castor oil which I think I mentioned in yesterday's little bit or the day before but that's going to be for my eyebrows and my lashes because it's really really handy and then I also got oh yeah screen protectors for my kindle <laughs> so I got handy things but my screen for my kindle where I used to have like a flippy case it used to cover it and protect it whereas now I don't have that so that was why I bought those because I just wanted to make sure that my kindle was well protected um because i'd hate for it to get all scratched and stuff like I, it's literally my pride and joy so we need to look after it but i best go to the gym and then i'll catch up with you afterwards your heart keep it in your pocket for some keeping don't ever let nobody be the reason you throw it out you stop caring not that you can really tell but i've been planning out some cute little outfits to pop on my instagram so i'm gonna do a quick get ready with me vibe before outfits so we've got like gray coat jeans white tee cap boston vibes we've got uh white jeans white tee very simple vibes here then i've got this which is a little bit more summery so we're going for some of these trousers with my uggs and then i'm going to pop on the blazer again and then this one is just a black and white number that's going to be more for like late late spring sorry so this one probably isn't going to go online for like another month i just felt very in the mood to do some get ready with me bits i am feeling very jittery this morning i don't feel 100 percent myself and i think we're gonna blame caffeine. Now, <laughs> I had two coffees yesterday, and then my friend on her way here was like, guys, do you want a monster? I'm gonna stop and get one, I need some energy. And I thought, do you know what? I haven't had a monster in quite a while, why not? Um, I was literally bouncing off the walls. I couldn't sleep last night, I was so wired. Like, even in my sleep, I felt wired. So, it wasn't a good time. And I woke up this morning and I just feel really like, I quickly nipped to the shop on the way home from the gym and just picked up like the cheapest Nespresso pods that they had that were decaf. Weirdly it was Cafe Nero, I didn't expect that, I thought own brand would have been cheaper but they were on offer so I just got the Cafe Nero ones, I have to admit, probably the most coffee shop tasting coffee at home that I've ever had, like it really tastes like a coffee from a coffee shop, but I do really love the grind ones so I'm going to get the grind pods on Amazon, I need to order them in a minute. It was like 30 pounds, I think, for 60 pods or something like that, which is really good going for um, grind. And also I just, if you love grind coffee or if you love Nespresso coffee, but haven't tried grinds, I would really recommend. I absolutely love it. They've got a caramel, they've got a vanilla, they've got dark blend, house blend, like, there's so many different ones, but I personally love grind coffee so much um it's the little pink jars that i have everywhere like the little tins but they do it in like pod form so you can just buy the boxes of pods etc and it's so much cheaper on amazon so i worked out by me buying like the three pound pack for 10 or whatever it was actually worked out as being more expensive than buying them in bulk and buying like 50 so we're going to do that and then we're just going to fill up the pods that we've got James is also currently not loving the caffeinated vibes. So I think we might just swap out like all of the coffee pods and put the ones that are caffeinated in the cupboard and keep the decaf ones out because we both just really like not having as much caffeine sometimes. I had no caffeine for, I think it was probably about two years. It was like the entire time I lived on my own in London and then probably about a year of living back here that I did caffeine free and it was the best thing I ever did. It was hard at first because I had the most ridiculous headaches and I felt really sluggish and really tired and really 
like struggled with motivation for about two or three weeks but then after i got out the other side of like the caffeine withdrawal because my god caffeine withdrawal is intense caffeine withdrawals gives you the worst headaches makes you really tired because obviously your body is so dependent on the caffeine so we're gonna do it we're gonna cut back down we're gonna take the caffeine back out of the equation i'm gonna switch to getting decaf whenever i'm out and about and stuff again but let's see how my body changes and my mind changes because i've definitely noticed the past like two months that my mindset has been a bit lower than usual and i just think that looking back my mindset at the time where i wasn't really having caffeine obviously there's many other factors to this as well but my mindset was so much better and i think recently i've kind of not slipped but i would say that i'm a bit less like on it with remembering to be grateful and like manifesting and that kind of thing like i've kind of dipped a bit so the last five or so days i've really picked back up my gratitude list in the morning listening to my podcast putting subliminals on while i'm working all that kind of good stuff that really gets me going so we're gonna get into it we're gonna do some little homey bits right now and then i'm heading to work from a coffee shop this afternoon with a friend i was gonna do loads of content today but i've realized that i've got a lot of stuff already done so it makes more sense for me to spend the rest of the day on the laptop and like getting things done, like edited and uploaded and scheduled and all that kind of stuff because I am overwhelmed with stuff at the moment. Like I have so many pictures and all these different things where I've been shooting loads and it's really hard to like navigate all of it because it's just too much. Like obviously so thankful and so grateful that there is as much as there is. But I look at my camera roll and I'm like, ah, so we're going through it slowly i've been working my way through and like trying to organize all the stuff but as we know i run two different social media brands and it's very challenging sometimes to keep up and remember what's going on with both so i typically will have like one day a week where i focus on the good vibes club and one day a week where i focus on the instagram for like my personal stuff and like the tiktoks and bits and then obviously like recording podcasts and filming and stuff fits around that but yes let's get into this we're gonna film these few outfits um for instagram and then i was gonna do them as a get ready with me like recreating pinterest vibe for my youtube as well because i want to bring another one of those out soon so maybe i'll film them for both tell me why it's 17 degrees in my flat right now 17 degrees like i'm literally going mad it's so cold i mean i can't really speak when i'm wearing this but I'm about to film Get Ready With Me, so obviously I need to be in like cute PJs because I don't want to attract all the men, so we're not doing the underwear to start. But it's so cold, I've got actual goosebumps on my arm. I'm freezing. Freezing. got new hair what do we think yesterday was an entire write-off for me i did absolutely nothing i <laughs> i tried to give up caffeine two days ago this is decaf i don't know if i mentioned it in the vlog but i went and bought decaf coffee pods and honestly yesterday was so bad like so bad i don't know what happened but my headache and like my migraine and everything was so bad i ended up in bed for three hours in the middle of the day somehow managed to be awake enough to go and get my hair done at four o'clock i did cancel it and then i called to be like actually can we reinstate because i didn't want to leave them last minute not knowing if i was coming or not so i thought let me just reinstate so i went and got my hair done um it's a little bit darker um and i'm taking a while to adjust to the length because it was i mean to be fair it's not that much shorter i think it was about here before i had about an inch ish taken off i basically said to her tell me what you're going to take off and she was like it needs about an inch and a bit and i was like okay i trust your judgment just just do it i just don't really like getting my hair cut i have a bit of a thing with getting my hair cut because of all the trauma with like losing my hair a couple of years ago because that was just traumatic so yes hair is done i really like the color i just think it's a little bit dark but i know that that's going to fade really quickly the toner never normally lasts like too long so i think give it about a month and it'll probably be quite light on the ends again which is fine that's what we like today however is going to be a chilled one at home i have a couple of bits to do this afternoon but i've spent the last hour running around doing like house things so for example the dishwasher 
sorting the dishes out from last night. We never, ever, 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 ever leave the dishes overnight. And last night we did. And I realized this morning just how much I hate it. I just, I can't stand it. I've put the washing away because that's been needing to be done for a couple of days, but I've just not had time. Um, and now I'm going to sit and try and get some podcast bits edited. I've got two podcast episodes to record later. And then I'm going to be packing up the gift bags for the next event because my next event is tomorrow. So we're having another pottery painting class. I'll bring the vlog camera along and get some clips again as always because I'm not actually doing it this time. So I can kind of be more like around and getting stuff done, which is really nice. I've just realized my hand is uh, rather tan. <laughs> but um, I need to sort out the gift bags for those and like fill every bag, make sure it's got all the cute bits in it and stuff. And then, yeah, basically get on with stuff as much as I can. It's very dark today and very like patchy dark. Sometimes the sun's coming in, sometimes it's not. So I'm kind of glad I'm not filming anything because it would be a nightmare. But yeah, we're gonna have a cozy laptop day, get some bits done like podcast episodes and stuff. And yeah, basically have a chill one because I know I'm working tomorrow. So yesterday kind of counted as my accidental weekend, but actually today was meant to be my weekend. So we'll see. I was gonna go to, um, the big Marks and Spencers near me as well and do a little come shop with me. But I think because the weather's so pants, I might wait till next week and like schedule it into my diary. But I really wanna do a big come shop with me where I go to like Marks and Spencers, Primark, H&M. Um, where else can I do that's like nearby? Maybe Zara. I'm trying to think what shops I've got locally, but there is a massive M&S. And I think M&S is quite overlooked in the world of fashion. So I really want to go in and have a browse because friends of mine buy jeans in there and say the jeans are incredible. I know like my auntie who watches these videos, so hello. <laughs> I know my auntie and my grandma shop there quite a lot. My mum shops there quite a lot. I've got a few bits from there myself. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. But I'm gonna get myself set up. I don't wanna sit on the sofa because I think I'll just get so distracted, but I do need to I don't know. We'll see. I'm I'm very distracted today. I'm in a very distracted mood. Does anyone know where I can get pictures printed that are this size? So they're eight by eight centimeters. Yes, we're gonna ignore my nail. I did take a chunk out of it. But does anyone know where I can get pictures printed that size? Because I've got this gorgeous photo frame and I initially did start printing pictures off, but I don't know if you can see, they're just really dark and like, they just don't look that great. So I really want to replace them and put in like better pictures basically. And also this is all like, you know, dated now. A lot of these are from like 2020 or a little bit before that. Um, but I really want to replace them and get some gorgeous new pictures in there from like me and James's travels and stuff. But I don't know how the earth to get pictures printed that are, what's that, eight by eight? I don't know what to do. <laughs> So whenever I film, if it's really sunny, I battle with the lighting being heavily on that chair. So what I've been doing is putting a bed sheet over the window just to try and minimize the lighting because like without this, it's obviously really harsh. With this, you get the dots. So I'm just gonna pop a bed sheet back up and I'm using a sheet because it means I can like hook it over the blind and then it doesn't need like propping up or anything. It literally just hooks over. Um, it is a bit of a faff, I'll be honest, because I have to like wedge a candle in there and stuff, but there we go. It basically holds it like so. Not quite the glamorous podcast studios that some people have when they go to like these gorgeous places all the time and have it all custom and everything, like the girls' bathroom, but do you know what? It works. It works for me. It works for the Good Vibes Club, and to be honest, I just... I don't think it needs much more than that. I do need to turn the microphone around though, because I have... The good vibes club on the microphone so i might quickly so i might quickly try and just take it off and then spin it around i think it'd be nicer if you can see the branding i do want to get this branded but for now i don't need it eventually i want to have like a little setup when i buy a house like i'm gonna um do similar to what my friend ebony's done actually i'm gonna have a little garden studio set up i think and have like a podcast corner in there, have all my like filming set up ready to go. Basically make it so that I can keep everything to like a little garden studio. 
um, and then get like a little granny trolley to cart my clothes in and out whenever I'm doing filming stuff. But I just think that might work quite well. That's better because now when I'm filming you can see that. So like for the clips and stuff, but I do need to charge my camera apparently. Are you even going to your friend's house if you didn't pack your slippers in a heated blanket and wear your comfies? I don't think so. Good morning gang. It's a very noisy vlog this morning and we're also on the phone because I had a manic morning running around trying to make sure I had everything sorted for today and trying to get out the door. It's chucking down with rain. I've got a million and one bags of like gift bags and like tumblers and all that kind of stuff. So it was a chaotic little morning, but really nice. And I'm just, you know, sat in the car driving into London now with a nice little podcast on. I've been listening to Wellness Her Way, which is, I don't even know how I found it actually. I think I found an episode and then I've just been like binge listening because it's so good. And I've since followed the host Gracie on Instagram because I'd never heard of her before either. And I just was like in awe and loved her episode so much. So I've just been listening to that. The weather is disgusting. Like it's so rainy and gross and ugh, basically. Like the whole drive I've basically been unable to see. So we're plodding along nicely and I'm very excited to get to the event. I think there's a couple of girls who have been to the events before, which is really lovely. It's nice to see some new faces and nice to see some familiar faces again. Like it just makes it a little bit easier when there's like a couple of familiar faces, I think. Um, so Anastasia, who I know watches these vlogs, she is coming again and bringing her little dog, <coughs> which would be really nice. So very excited. Um, there's not really much more to say. I'm just very chilled driving along. I have had my one coffee of the day because I was just so frantic this morning. I've been awake since half five. Um, James left for half work at like half five this morning and I woke up at the same time as him and I just couldn't get back to sleep. So I had like one of these little things, which is delish. And yeah, now we're driving along and there's a white van next to me. You can kind of see it, there he is. He's just staring into the window and trying to get my attention, which is fabulous. <laughs> Gotta love driving into London with the white van, man. Always fun and games, but I'm gonna go and carry on. And then I will give you a little bit of a montage of the event. I probably won't vlog talking too much because I just get really nervous and embarrassed <laughs> vlogging around other people, but I'll try my hardest to give you as much as I can. Do you know what, actually, we're gonna challenge ourselves to do at least three talking clips while everyone's there. So yes, see you in a minute. 